Hello, my name is Annie Kim. I am currently a junior at Meredith College, majoring in chemistry, and I've completed this research project for the intro to research class at the 299 level. And so I wasn't able to get any results yet, but um, once I have those, I will put them on this poster. Um, my research project aims to understand the interaction of forces during chronic entanglement scenarios in humpback whales. The main question that it aims to answer is what is the maximum weight that a netting can have before it is fatal to the humpback whale? And so I have my abstract on the left and it explains that I will use a physical science approach to determine the kinematics of the entanglement netting um, scenario. And the results are expected to show the drag and buoyancy forces to be drastically increased while the average swimming velocity will decrease. Um, these findings can be theoretically applied to disentanglement operations um, since those are very detail oriented and these can also can be used for further research on endangered species. On my background bullets, I have um, facts about humpback whales that are relevant to the research. They are the most common whale species to be entangled. Um, they're endangered because of increased human activity like the chronic entanglement scenarios. Their entanglement is often chronic and it will severely diminish their quality of life. Um, this stress is apparent in the behavioral movement hormone and baleen plate evaluation that happens when beached whales are found. Um, humpback whales are found to be able to manipulate the buoyancy force to their advantage. Um, this is seen during humpback whale lunge feedings. And the buoyancy force, um, they will swallow more water so that they have more buoyancy force as they lunge feed. And then their migratory habits include three major locations, which include the North Pacific, North Atlantic, and the South of the Equator. And those are important for our methodology, methodology later on because that will be relevant for the density of the ocean water. And so going to the methodology, um, these hypothetical scenarios will show the effects of entanglement um, quantified through kinematic equations and force analysis diagrams. And so the sole constant in this system will be the mass of the humpback whale. It will just be one average adult humpback whale's mass that is used for each force diagram. Um, there will be three different densities that will be chosen based on migration habits, which I already explained, the North Pacific, North Atlantic, and South of the Equator. And then the other variable is the type of netting that will be used. And then once I get those diagrams, I will have the results, and the results will explain the maximum weight that netting type A or the netting type B can have in each of those three principal locations where humpback whales are found to be to migrate. And so once I have those, I will be able to fully write my conclusion. Uh, I acknowledge um, the chemistry, physics, and geoscience department of Meredith College and Dr. Orman, who primarily taught the um, Chem 299 Intro to Research class, and I was advised by Dr. Schmidt throughout this research project, and I would like to acknowledge him as well. And I have my references on the bottom, and that is my research 